Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and this video right here is the weekly love and money tarot reading and horoscope for Gemini for the week of March 2nd to March 6th, 2020. Hey Gemini, what's up? Hope you're having a super amazing day. You're, uh, I was looking at your astrology and, and <laughs> buddy looks, pfft. I'm a Gemini rising, so I shouldn't laugh at that. But anyways, here we go. Uh, before we begin, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel, share the videos. Um, in addition to that, I am a professional astrologer, and if you want a personal reading, just check it out, how to do that in the description box below. In addition to that, we have a really cool app out on the sunny side, and uh, charging the phone, right? <laughs> I'm old school, charging the phone. Anyways, there's, um, we have a really cool app out on the sunny side. Uh, there are links, it's for Android and uh, iPhone devices. And there's a link in the description box below. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. What's going on, Gemini? Let's pull some cards and see what's the action here. Oh, man. T two of Wands, Seven of Wands. Well, I don't really like the Seven of Wands, but the Two of Wands is a pretty good card to have. Now, Mercury is still retrograde, so you got to be cool with that, Gemini. Like, very seriously be cool with it. But it means communication problems. Plus, Je Mercury, for the most part, Mercury rules Gemini, so like... You know, it just means you're going to be extra fast, but the world around you is overloaded with information, and the people aren't going to be, um, be the people aren't going to be able to keep up with you intellectually right now, and they're not going to be able to keep up with the conversation. So Gemini's might find themselves a little bit uh, frustrated right now. Here we go. Can you see that? Two of Wands, Seven of Wands. So the Two of Wands is a situation where it's a new beginning. It means. It's not necessarily a new beginning, but the Two of Wands is cardinal fire energy. So it's kind of um, it, like it means action. You know, it's like the beginning of Aries. It's like a new season. It's a world of possibilities. You're looking out into the world and you have all of these choices that you can that you can do. It's not a card of making a decision. It's not an intellectual thing. It's not Libra energy. It's not gathering and it's getting out there. It's just seeing the possibilities in front of you and to not be discouraged. But we have the seven, you know, get ready for an adventure, Gemini. Then we have the seven of one, which is not the greatest thing because, you know, new beginnings usually bring endings. So heads up with that. Remember, new beginnings. A lot of people say endings bring new beginnings. That's not true. Endings usually bring F all. <laughs> they usually bring nothing. But new beginnings usually bring endings. So watch out for that kind of action there. Next, Seven of Wands. This card means the, uh, the king is going to have to defend his actions. So something's going on, Gemini. We have, you know, a world of possibilities. It, a world of possibilities lay before you, and it's, it's a good situation to be in. Uh, on the negative side, people are going to second-guess you, and it's like, why are you second-guessing me, man? I'm the, I'm the only one in the room with brains. And so that's the deal, Gemini. Let's go check out, see what your astro is doing. So love is a full stop. Why is love a full stop, Sonny? Uh, love is, forget about love being a full stop. We'll talk about that in a sec. First thing up, money cannot possibly get worse than it is right now, except for in the next couple of weeks when it actually does get worse. <laughs> so, like, you gotta really, it really sucks the holy wazoo, man. Oh, that really bites bananas. Yeah, as a Gemini rising, I could feel it. Feel free to donate to the channel. Please subscribe, download the app. <laughs> you know, leave some comments in the comments section. Anyways, money really, this is a really difficult situation. You are hemorrhaging Quan. This means you are losing legal battles and money is leaving your, the so you are spending money on someone to do something or you're giving money to someone who's hemorrhaging your action. And that's weird. I'm not giving any money to anybody, so I wonder what that means. It also means investments are in the toilet. You know, the eau de toilette in the nasty way. Yeah, okay, investments suck. <laughs> investments currently suck right now. Um, so this is a big, this is a, a frustrating situation for Gemini's. Money's been tight for a while. Look at the North Node in your personal finances is going to make money difficult for you. Personal finance is difficult. Investments suck. An inheritance, someone's going to try and steal your inheritance. You're going to lose a legal battle. You're going to hemorrhage. Bloop, bloop. This is about as bad as money's going to get. The only thing, way this would make money worse is if all of this stuff was actually over here. And then it would be really bad. And that's what Sagittarius is going through. But for Gemini, 
what can I say? You know, money sucks. This money sucks shoelaces. So you got to deal with it. But as we always say, there's. It's also watch out for sex bumps, Gemini's, Gemini risings. I watch out for leaks. You know, watch out for your zipper getting a little loose. Watch out for people cheating on you in relationships. That's a reality under this particular transit. All right, next. And just to let you know, yeah, it's gonna get worse. Next, love on the other hand, do 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 do. This is an interesting thing right now. So the group is loving you, Gemini. People are digging your vibe. Probably popular on the internet, making friends on the internet, uh, making friends with groups of people. I haven't gone to any Freemason lodges yet in Chicago, which I could probably do that, but <laughs> so I've been busy in the evening, so I haven't had a chance to do that, but that would be good. Anyways, Venus is creeping through here. I'm a Gemini rising. I'm reading my horoscope. Leave me alone. <laughs> so then Venus is creeping through here. Soon, you're going to have some secret love oh yeah so gemini's gemini's gemini rising and venus in gemini you guys are going to pick up a secret admirer Ooh la 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 also you got to watch out for people stalking you you know watch out for people stalking you watch out for secret admirers watch out for love headed behind the scenes now i want to say something else in addition to all of that mercury is still retrograde it's about to click back into education mode later on in the week Right now, it's, uh, you're revisiting your public image. Very shortly, you're going to revisit something at a distance. And Gemini, Gemini rising, someone at a distance is going to contact you. So major heads up on that. Hey, and if they contact you, when they contact you, please leave a comment in the comment section and say, Hey, Sonny, you're awesome. And subscribe to the channel. All right. So there you go. Someone at a distance is going to contact you, Gemini, in the next week. In addition, it's from your past. In addition to that, you might very seriously think about going back to school and very seriously think about taking a vacation, except the money sucks, so I don't see that happening. Okay, so that's the Mercury retrograde thing. Communication problems, re restructuring your public career. There are a lot of Geminis restructuring and revisiting, going back and checking out their public career. Actually, your astrological homework for the week is I want you to get out there and have a look around and see if you can notice signs of mercury retrograde you know and leave it in the comment section below and let's see what's going on all right so that's the deal love is behind the scenes it's a stop but in a month love is going to be really good right now it's a stop soon uh money sucks the wazoo so don't go any action on that stuff from the past is going to people from the past are going to come you're re revisiting your career right now all right on top of all of that do 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 there isn't one final thing and this is an interesting one. Venus is going to square Saturn this week. Last week it was squaring Pluto, and that made there was obsessions and arguments and like you don't love me kind of action. This week there's going to be a lot of feelings of being alone and isolated, right? You guys got that? Saturn's going to lay some negative game on your on um, on Venus, and so Saturn's going to really restrict in a negative way your Venus action. At the same time, it could mean discipline and love. It could mean, no, it doesn't. It means it takes, it means love is going to get a little bit on the sideways action. Also, you better watch out for your personal finances. Something is going to happen behind the scenes or something's going to happen with the group situation, which is going to hemorrhage you financially and it's going to suck. And that's the action. <laughs> that's the action. Uh, that's the action. If any of this resonated with you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Your astrological homework is to go out there and find signs of mercury retrograde, some communication problems. And um, so that next time it comes around, you'll know what to look for. And uh, keep your eyes open if you're looking for love. It's with the group right now, but by the weekend, it's going to be behind the scenes. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the live stream. And that's the action from the sunnyside.net. I'm Sunny, wishing all Geminis the best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon.